Um, okay, penultimate question. Nick, would you give us a brief update on the most recent data that we've had with regards to the WHI? Came out in well, July, I believe. Is that yeah, correct? I mean, yeah, in the sh short time we've got. Um, basically, you know, this was a 20 year review of the data. Um, and it was very reassuring that it confirmed, first of all, what we originally thought, that estrogen on its own does not increase the risk of breast cancer, and in fact, probably reduces the risk of breast cancer. Yeah. But we have to be cautious because they were using a particular type of estrogen, which is conjugated estrogens, yeah. which is the mare's urine. It may behave differently to the 17 beta estradiol. Of course but also there was an uh, evidence that it uh, reduced breast cancer mortality as well, which was yeah. good. Um, on the other hand, estrogen with progestogen, there was that small but significant uh, increased risk of breast cancer. But, you know, I always say, put it down into absolute numbers, you know, less than one extra case per thousand women per year in yeah. terms of incidence. Uh, but importantly, with estrogen and progestogen, there was no increase in mortality. Um, breast cancer mortality. Mm -hmm. um, so why are these data important? You know, we, we had the um, alarm from the collaborative reanalysis from Oxford of the uh, observational data, prospective and, um, and retrospective observational yeah. data. This is a very long-term uh, follow-up of what was originally a randomized trial, you know, a gold standard study. So although there were limitations to that study, um, I think the fact that it was uh, randomized, um, I think the data are um, important and compelling. And it means that we really need proper randomized trials in the future mm. to prove this question once and for all yeah. of whether HRT with more modern types of regimens genuinely does increase the risk of breast cancer or not. Um, and, you know, whether, you know, the, dif the, the difference lies in the types of hormone therapy uh, that are used. And we need to be able to exclude variables uh, such as, you know, gathering data from breast screening services where you know, potentially women who are going along for breast screening are there because they might have had a higher risk of breast cancer yeah. to begin with because of you know, family history or because they've had other breast symptoms or whatever. Mm. So I think it's, you know, really compelling new data. Uh, and, um, you know, we, we, I, I, I keep saying this, you know, we, we need the definitive prospective randomized trial. We'll probably never see it because you know it's going to cost a lot of money and need, yeah. need many many thousands of women but i'm going to keep fighting for it 